not the boy. I failed you, son. Forgive me. Forgive me. I will let you down no longer. Forgive me. Forgive me. What are you doing? Betrayed your family. Gion mi mehucha, gavuje am prish gabe mi rish. You're too late. You will not get him. It was with great joy that I received your last letter. Know that you are missed terribly here in India. If my calculations are correct and the International Postal Service is kind, this letter will keep you company as you make the final leg of your journey to Scotland. I hesitate to say anything for fear you'll think me foolish, even hysterical. Your father made it his life's work to research his family's twisted history. This and his obsession with the occult combined to unravel his poor mind. John loved his family and his family home, but he hated and mistrusted them in equal measure. Son, beware of the Gordons. Blood is not always thicker than water. Your loving mother.
talked about a library, a key, a, 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 and some sort of broken toy. Should I even try to read any real meaning into all of this? A note about a library, a key, a, 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 and some sort of broken toy. Should I even try to read any real meaning into all of this? We have arrived, sir. Welcome, Mr. Gordon. I'm Andrew Harrison. Mr. Harrison, it's good to finally meet you. From our correspondence, I expected you to be older. Ah, uh, thank you. I'll lead the way. It's quite dark already. We can continue to talk inside. David, welcome to Skahandu House. Lady Margaret, how kind of you to welcome me in person at such a late hour. If I may, I would like to know more about my father's last days. It is too late in the day for such morbid talk. You do look so very much like John, though. An impressive building. Scar and do though. Unusual. What, what is its meaning? Unusual only if you have not bothered to study Gaelic. It means Black Mirror House. Many generations of the Gordon family have been master of this house. It is a great responsibility. Perhaps the greatest a man could bear. Angus, please show Master David to his room. Yes, ma'am. I trust you had a pleasant journey. This place is rather remote, even for Scotland. It was most pleasing, thank you. I was fortunate enough to stop off in several fascinating places on my way here. How long have you been practicing law? I came to the bar a few years ago. I'm at Chambers in Edinburgh with lawyers who have served the Gordon family for generations. I'm embarrassed to ask, but it is my job. Have you proof of who you say you are? You are David Gordon, son of the late John Gordon. Please, I quite understand. Here you are. Hmm. Hmm. Huh. What a curious object. No, it's nothing. Just a trinket from India that I carry for luck. I see. I trust it brings you all the luck you deserve. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some work waiting for me in the library. I could not in good conscience sleep with it unfinished. I'll be staying in the house for a few days, so no doubt we'll bump into each other again. Don't worry, Mr. Gordon. You're in good hands here. Uh, please follow me, Master David. Your grandfather, his lordship, Edward Gordon. P. 
pieces of some kind of drawing. How odd. It does that sometimes, sir. Lady Gordon expects you for breakfast at eight, sir. Thank you. Lady Gordon called you Angus? Uh, pleased to meet you, Angus. Yes, sir. She did. I am Mr. McKinnon. Uh, Mr. McKinnon. Yes. Um, I'd advise you not to leave the room tonight. Ticking clocks are not the worst thing you may encounter in the house at night, if you don't know your way around. Sleep well, sir. Maybe he's more of a morning person. I doubt this place could ever be properly warm. I got somewhat turned around following Angus through the house. Sorry, Mr. McKinnon. But I think my room is probably around here somewhere. In an old house like this one, sooner or later no drawer stays empty. More pieces of the same drawing. Maybe I can make out what it shows if I had enough of them. The candle is nearly gone, but it should do for a while once lit. I'm going to need a light to find my way about out there. The candle is nearly gone, but it should do. The candle is nearly gone, but it should do for a while once lit. Glad I don't have to carry you around anymore. Mr. McKinnon lifted you up with ease. some obscure local law that required me being here in person. I would probably never have come. <laughs> A pigeon amongst the cats. Sorry to inform you of death of John Gordon. Stop. Please return to Skahundu House. Stop. Andrew Harrison, lawyer. Stop. I should get a new passport. This one's filling up. This handsome, cheery, sober man. He's not the one I remember from my childhood. Hmm, not many matches left. Ah, 
Just what I need.